Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. This is our video presentation for MAT 263 Linear Algebra 1. In this video, we're gonna talk about application of linear algebra in real life. Before we go further, let me introduce my group members. So, this is our group members. This is me, Manisha Binti Harun. This is Raja Zaris Nazira Binti Raja Yusri. And this is Umi Inzati Binti Harun. Now, let me tell you uh, the introduction of what is linear algebra. Linear algebra is a branch of mathematics that is concerned with mathematical structures. Close under the operations of addition, subtraction, and scalar multiplication. And that includes the theory of systems of linear equations, matrices, determinants, vector spaces, linear transformations, agent vectors, and agent values. Why linear algebra is useful in real life? Linear algebra is useful because it is easy in the sense that most linear algebra problems can be solved efficiently by a computer, even a simple calculation using matrices. Almost any situation where there is an unknown quantity can be represented by a linear equation, like figuring out income over time, calculating milliage rates, or predicting profit. Many people use linear equations every day, even they do the calculations in their head without drawing a line graph. In this video, we will explain and give a simple example that lead you to understand how linear algebra is used in our daily life. In this video, we discuss about how to apply matrix multiplication or dot product in a real life situation. But how do we multiply a matrix by another matrix? My name is Rajazaris Nazira and I will briefly explain the steps to do a matrix multiplication. Matrix multiplication is only possible when the number of columns in the first matrix equals to the number of rows in the second matrix. The result matrix, known as the matrix product, will have the number of rows of the first matrix and the number of columns of the second matrix. Let's say we want to multiply first matrix A and second matrix B. Inside the matrices are its elements. Remember that we can multiply two matrices if and only if the number of columns in the first matrix equals to the number of rows in the second matrix. So first, we must check whether the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. Next, we will multiply the elements of each row of the first matrix by the corresponding elements of each column in the second matrix. Then, we add the products. Finally, we should check that the result matrix has the number of rows of the first matrix and the number of columns of the second matrix. Hi, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. My name is Umi Izati Binti Harun. So now let's we move on to the example of application of linear algebra in real life. So this is the situation. Four girls went to shopping mall to buy new clothes. The friends of this four individual recommended them to buy clothes from three different stores. This four person have different preference amount of clothes based on its type that they looking at. Each store also have different price for each type of item. These people want to know how much they will spend for the clothes from three different stores before they will start to purchase. 
So this is a table of demand of goods. The tab this table show the preference amount of goods for four girls. There is three types of goods. There are shirt, pants, and blouse. Next table is price or uh, price in the store. So this table show the price for shirt, pants, and blouse for three different stores. As we want to see how much the girls will spend in three different stores, so we need to multiply the quantity of shirt. I'm sorry, the quantity of the clothes with the price according to the which store they are looking at. This is how to calculate the total expenses, but this is without applied linear algebra. So here. For store 1, we need to multiply the quantity, C852, uh, the quantity of the clothes with the price according to the which store. This is store 1, store 2, and store 3. So you can see that girl number 1 will spend 195 in store 1. Then she will spend uh, 136, sorry, 136 in store 2. She will, she will spend 360 in store 3. So, same goes to the rest of the girls. Uh, they need to use the same, same calculation to find how much they will spend. Okay, this is without linear algebra. Next, we, we see if we use how we use the linear algebra. Okay, this is when you apply linear algebra. Okay, you can see that this is metric G and this is metric S. So this metric G is represent for the girls the the quantity, the amount of uh, the clothes, and S is represent the price of the clothes for each for each store. So uh, you will uh, sorry we will uh, use the same um, the same calculation how to calculate to get this metric metric GS where we need to uh, multiply uh, metric G with metric S and then find the summation and then you will get uh, 195 136 360 and so on. So this is how we multi uh, we use we apply the linear algebra. In this video, matrix multiplication is able to solve problem involving the two categorical data, which are persons' desired quantities and commodity prices. By matrix multiplication, we can see the amount spent by each person on the commodities. As a conclusion. Matrix multiplication that is learned in linear algebra can be used to solve real-life problems. That is all from us.